What's up everybody, this is Beetle5 and welcome to another one of my reaction videos. I have with me the Ginger here. Hello everyone. And today we will be reacting to Laura Croft versus Nathan Drake Death Battle. This is the first death battle of season 4, which will be pretty exciting. Now, I don't know anything about these two characters because I've never played Tomb Raider and I've never played Uncharted, so I don't know nothing. Yep, right. and I've only seen the movie yeah, of, see, of the Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider movie, right, so... At the moment, I can't really say who's gonna win this fight. I think we have yeah. to. I think we gotta just stick to the more data after analysis, and then we'll just give our decision. All right. So you have the video loaded. Yep. All right. We'll start this shit then in three, two, one, go. This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Go90, the free digital entertainment service mm. featuring TV shows, original series, esports, concerts, live sports, and behind-the-scenes access to some of your favorite musical artists. Watch Go90 free on your phone, tablet, laptop, or cast your TV. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's like, hey, what are you watching today? I'm taking a shit! Check out original series, What Do You Know, exclusively on Go90. That'd be funny. Alright. Okay. Whoa! Ooh, oh, cool. shit! That's cool! Sometimes, an archaeologist hey, needs to get more than a shovel and brush. Especially when they're on the hunt for the most legendary of treasure. <laughs> yeah, if it were that easy, everyone would be doing it. The best <laughs> treasure hunters are the ones with the brawn to match their brain. <laughs> like Lara Croft, Lara Croft, the Oh my Tomb god, Raider. look at that glow. And Nathan Drake, the names. seeker it's of so the cool. Uncharted. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Oh my god, it's wicked. Most people spend their entire lives in pursuit of wealth, status, and power. But Lara Croft was lucky enough huh. to be born into them. However, despite Great attending sphere, the best schools and, and living in her own mansion, <laughs> she was missing one crucial thing. Adventure. Man, rich people are always looking for some crazy way to help keep themselves entertained. <laughs> but if you have a lot of money and you take a lot of trips, it's good odds that one of those trips is bound to go horribly wrong. And guess what? It did! Before she was even old enough to order a drink, a crash landing left her stranded in desolation. She had to learn for herself how to adapt and survive for over a week before returning to civilization as a whole new lady. Would she fight in yetis? whatever Tomb Raider timeline you're looking at, whether it's on an island or the Himalayas, Lara's destined to this life-changing fate. I'm never getting on a plane with her. Surprisingly, Lara's <laughs> experience left her far from traumatized. Instead, she was inspired, hooked by the thrill of perilous adventure. So she struck out on her own, seeking lost treasure across the globe. Whoa, to name dude, she's got strong arms. But Lara's no fool. <laughs> yeah. So first, she made sure she'd be ready she for She fought anything. robots in the she movie? That, the best teachers she yeah, that's Angelina Jolie. Yeah, the ways yeah. of yeah. stealth, survival, and martial arts. She became proficient in numerous types of firearms, and her martial art of choice appears very reminiscent to kickboxing. She can even fight while blindfolded. Ooh, so shit. she's basically Batman, who trades guns <laughs> with guns. Batman with guns. Is famous for her trademark dual Heckler and Koch pistols. And I'm not talking about the things under her sweater. Oh, look at that pie. Oh, look at that pie animation guns, looking rivals, cartoon. <laughs> guns, even grenades. And she uses them to take down Whoa. everything from armed thugs to T-Rexes. Lara the fuck? is also skilled she with a compound bow, perfect for stealth kills. And she's got enough trick arrows to make Green Arrow proud. She's got oh, fire ah, arrows, poison arrows, explosive tipped arrows, and even rope arrows for crossing gaps or grappling things. And while her climbing axe is supposed to be used for scaling up cliffs, you can imagine what the thing does to a human skull. Oh wait, you don't <laughs> have to. Watch. Oh, oh, oh shit. Lovely. Gruesome murder oh, aside, Lara's extensive training paid off in big ways. She's discovered the legendary blade Excalibur, the Philosopher's Stone, the Ark of the Covenant, Thor's hammer Mjolnir, and what even the Big fuck? Kids, whom she also promptly killed. Thor's hammer Sucking and King much. Arthur Excalibur? She survived dinosaurs, the Jesus. Kraken, a Chinese dragon, the Kraken? and she even found the long-lost Led Zeppelin song, Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> no, 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 she found a literal stairway to she heaven. She found the stairway really? to heaven? Holy shit! For wow. a 132-pound woman, she's surprisingly strong. She's held up a heavy gate for 36 straight seconds Whoa. while drowning. 
She also regularly pushes around enormous boards. Shit, was this around like on PS1 or N64? N64? This makes her easily strong enough to, say, punch a man through a wooden beam. Lara's Ooh. also a crack shot. She can precisely tag multiple targets in less than a second, even if they're button-sized bolts or kunai flying through the air. Wow. She's skilled Holy enough to fuck. infiltrate and escape Area 51. She's uh, tenacious uh. enough to take a bullet in the heat of battle and keep fighting. Mm -hmm. And she's tough enough to dive off a 250-foot cliff into water with no injury whatsoever. And live? The highest documented dive ever recorded is 193 feet. But unlike Lara, this driver underwent weeks of preparation and still broke his collarbone. Oh Hell, this girl God. can survive Damn. almost anything. Shit. When she was younger, she got impaled by a rusty <gasps> oh, metal spike oh, and was still oh. able to complete an entire adventure while in constant pain. She uh, wasn't even able to properly treat it. She had to cauterize it with a burning arrow. Oh, oh, yeah, oh that's hardcore. Shit. I think I found my next ex-wife. <laughs> and then there was that one time she threw her climbing axe at a helicopter and it just... It just exploded! It just exploded! Yeah, the only logical explanation being she threw the axe into the chopper's air intake, shredded its internals, which caused a spark that reached its gas tank. She made the helicopter explode with nothing but an axe! <laughs> that girl's got one hell of an arm. Throw Thor's I think hammer! We can all agree yeah. Lara is a badass. But yeah. She thinks so too, and can get a bit reckless. <laughs> she if thinks she gets so. too full of it, she can always find herself at the wrong oh. end of a tree oh. branch, crushed oh. by boulders, mauled by wolves, oh. shot in the head, stabbed through the face. Oh! And oh. Oh, 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 okay. Faith. I guess Tomb Raider has a lot of fatality that, deaths if you die. Doesn't keep her from any of her bewildering like the, adventures. Like the 360 Tomb Raider, I'm guessing. Place this. Okay, this is definitely PlayStation One. I'm Don't calling you think it. You've seen enough? <laughs> 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 oh, that's, that's great. Sick Harvest Magna. To most people, these words hold little meaning, but for globe-trotting explorer Nathan Drake, it's his life motto. Greatness from small beginnings. Hmm. And beginnings don't get much smaller than his. Little Nate's been Master of the half tuck shirt, home, and he hates he clowns. By nuns, picked on by bullies, <laughs> Bridges like to collapse beneath them. <laughs> every second of his life. Nathan found solace in his fascination with history, particularly the explorer who found El Dorado, Sir Francis Drake. And like his idol, Nathan dreamed of one day escaping the orphanage to go on treasure hunts of his own. Hmm. And he did, with his big brother Sam. The treasure? Their dead mom's old journals about Mr. Drake himself. Turns out they were in some old lady's house, so they broke in, oh, she gosh. called the cops, and then immediately died of a heart attack. Oh, God. Obviously not wanting to be caught trespassing and standing over a dead woman when the police arrived, Nathan began a life on the run. Talk Ooh. about shitty luck. Man, all he wanted was a book. Fortunately, <laughs> Nathan seemed born for the treasure hunter's life. He's exceptionally athletic, has encyclopedic historical knowledge, and can find a way out of almost any bad situation with his quick wit. Oh. He'd make sure that everyone would remember the name Nathan Drake. I know, I've, I've tried him out in PlayStation All-Stars. He's pretty cool in that Nathan game. eventually teamed up with Victor Sullivan, a former Navy officer turned expert con artist. Sully taught Nathan the ways of combat, both with his fists and with firearms. Good thing, too, because it seems like everybody out there wants to take a shot at Nate. He almost always has a 45 Defender or 9mm pistol on hand, as well as a couple grenades. Nate can rack up the body count with just about any weapon he touches, including machine guns, shotguns, grenade launchers, and sniper rifles. Nice. Hey, when there's a literal army of bad guys out to kill you, you gotta become a one-man army yourself. <laughs> Ready for anything, Nathan set out to follow in his idol's footsteps, and then some. He's discovered five lost civilizations, stopped multiple world-ending threats, wow. and even unlocked the secret of El Dorado like Sir Move Francis Moved a 20-ton boulder. Yeah, turns out it's not a city of gold, just a dead guy that turns people into zombies. <laughs> okay, then. Didn't see that one coming. Zombies anyway, in this game. Anyway, Nate wouldn't have done that. any of those things if he weren't physically fit for the job. Shit. He's strong enough to move boulders twice his size and hold up a four-ton gate for four seconds. Hmm. Huh. He can climb huge cliffs with nothing but his fingertips and constantly jumps humongous <laughs> gaps without. Why would they show footage anymore? of the PlayStation Vita version and they couldn't even. But they captured it from everywhere else. In this instance, Nathan Drake was able to make a 19 foot jump from a standstill. 19 Shit. feet! And he's always clearing similar jumps throughout his adventures. Oh my god! He's got hops, but he's also got an iron hide. He's a the leaper. He's constantly falling dozens of feet and just shaking it off. Like that time he did a 40 foot belly flop and got right back up like it was nothing. That could kill a normal guy. 
Nathan Drake is nothing if not determined. When he found himself cornered on a train and bleeding out from a bullet wound, his solution was to simply blow the whole thing to oblivion. What? what a convenient pile of propane tanks. But of course, he survived the crash and even climbed to safety, despite having no way of knowing he'd get out of this whole mess alive at all. Wow. On top of all that, look what he's wearing. It's freezing up there. Huh? Actually, explosions generally seem to be his exit of choice. Like when he blew up a cargo plane while flying over Saudi Arabia. After surviving the trip to the ground, he wandered the desert for two straight days with zero food or water. But even wow. with all that, when he found a bunch of mercenaries who wanted to kill him, he was still able to fight them off. How is this guy real? What kind of deal did he make with Satan? Because he should know that that stuff comes with a terrible price. Believe me. All of this just Believe me? how careless and haphazard wow. Nathan really is. This man rarely, if ever, has a plan for anything at any point. Nearly every moment of his life, whether he's in or out of danger, Nathan's philosophy insists that he simply roll with whatever punches come his way. When it comes down to it, much of his survivability can be chalked up to an abundance of good luck. And That's also his very incredible interesting. knack for improvising and adapting. Lucky or not, hundreds if not thousands of bad guys have tried to beat him to some treasure and lost. It's good odds that if you go up against Nathan Drake, you're not just going to lose that treasure, you're going to lose your life. What the hell did you do back there? Uh, well, you know, save the world. <laughs> it's tough, All right, the but, yeah. but I think I have to go with Laura Croft. But yeah, first, me too. I'm gonna tell I, you I to think just because, I mean, what is it? They're both pretty skilled in firearms, and it has shown that Nathan Drake is pretty good when it comes to, like, superhuman feats and such, but I think Laura has a few better superhuman feats than Nathan does. Like, they made that the reference where, where Drake was able to hold up a gate for four straight seconds. Laura was able to do that for 36 seconds while drowning. I think, I, I think she's gonna win this fight. The only thing I'm thinking is that maybe Laura Croft will go a little bit too recklessly, and she might play you can get two no control over her actions that, that, might do that, that could happen and, and Nathan is a bit smarter and maybe in terms of knowledge and stuff he's smart yeah, I'm gonna still go Laura yeah, yeah I gotta stick with Laura on this one the, or if you go the, extra mile, <laughs> the fuck is that? yeah a freaking spider aww he gave him flowers so head to proflowers.com click the microphone it's a fucked up looking muppet but right now, it's time for a death battle! battle. Alright, death battle season okay. four! Yeah. Alright, here we go. Damn, it's cold up here. Okay, let's try. Oh, the Holy Grail! <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> That's funny. Stop! Turn around. Oh, that's old Laura. Slowly. She got the blue shirt on. That's way older. Ah, crap. <laughs> hey there. Uh, I'm guessing the whole finders keepers rule isn't gonna apply. Cut <laughs> the chit chat. The Grail's coming with me. Either walk away or die right here. Oh boy. Choose wisely. Ooh. Okay, Missy. First rule about me. Oh. I don't walk away. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Laura's also pretty handy with, handy with that crossbow. I gotta say, that might give her an edge. Uh, it never fails. I get to the gold at the end of the rainbow and somebody tries to kill me. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh oh! No, no, not the grail! <laughs> Get it! <laughs> oh, nice catch! Uh, not a scratch. Why Do is it not? No, what you've done. It's not gold anymore. <gasps> oh, trap. oh no, booby That's trap! Probably not good. Uh oh! Didn't think of that. <laughs> okay, that's definitely not good. <laughs> They're gonna fight while the place is being the trap. Oh, that's crazy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Oh, Laura! Oh, shit! Oh, yeah, I'm like, he, he can make that jump. They said that he can make bigger jumps than her. Yeah. But, uh, oh, what's he gonna do? Oh, shit, he's getting away with the grail! Wow. Oh, boy. What about Laura? Oh, here we go! Mm. Here she comes! Oh, she's got the crossbow now. I'm sorry, no, it's a, it's a regular bow. My bad. Oh. Hmm. Oh. 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 Oh, I don't know. Still anyone's game. Hmm. Sorry. Have to do what I have to do. Whoa, shit. Ah, crap. <laughs> what happened? Oh, 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 I guess her, when she fell out of the car. Yeah. She tore up her arm. Uh-oh. Yeah. She doesn't have the grail either, he's got it. Yeah, but... Cropped manner. He's, he's jacking her helicopter. <laughs> oh, yeah, throw the axe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Yeah, there there we go. go. Yeah, she'll take him down. <laughs> oh! It just, what the hell? It just explodes after making slight contact. Wow. That's funny. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh! oh. Yeah. Not oh. a scratch. <laughs> she drinks. Whoa! I did not expect that! Oh, that nice was shot. awesome! Told you she had a good arm. <laughs> Laura and Nathan have both displayed impressive Sweet. feats of strength, durability, agility, and weapon skills. But Lara tended to have the edge in every category. Yeah. Both of them yeah. were way stronger than you'd think. Nathan shoved a boulder large enough to weigh 20 tons. That means he literally had the strength of 10 men. But <laughs> in Lara's case, she moved several limestone blocks used in the Great Pyramids. Not only did she move them much farther distances than Nathan, but given their size and makeup, these blocks should weigh over 27 tons each. Lara's way tougher too, and has been through things that definitely would have taken Nate out. Like when she was impaled by rebar, but was still able oh, to accomplish everything oh, necessary yeah. to survive I, I remember a hostile island for a week. Nathan suffered a bullet wound in the same area of the body, and while he powered through the pain for a short time, he soon passed out and was unconscious while under intensive care for three days. Take my word for it, I've been through pretty much everything you can think of, and I'd rather take a bullet than rebar any day. And that <laughs> rebar thing happened when Lara was pretty young. Oh, Later, she got all sorts of combat and survival training from experts, Well, Nate was mostly self-taught, with a few pointers every so often from a con man. Also, when the pressure's really on, Lara manages to always keep a cool head. Much better than Nate. So, you got a plan C? Yeah, floor it. What? I'm getting on that train. <laughs> What are you, crazy? Nathan Drake did just about everything by the seat of his pants, and eventually, luck always runs out. I like out. how the Yeah, she was, was just up. too crafty for him. <laughs> oh, oh Christ, no. Croft. That's painful. Okay, All right, what do we got? What do we got? Come on. Let's be someone on awesome here. Let's be someone kick ass. Oh. <gasps> Duck um, tails? <laughs> Scrooge McDuck? <laughs> I, I know that. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> hey guys, thanks okay. for watching our season four premiere. I, I'm Ben. I play Wiz. I don't know what to make of that. Next time we've got. I mean, I know him mostly from like Disney being uh, the uncle of the of the, um, the, the yeah. Well, he's he's also the uncle of the triplets, Huey, Dewey, yeah. and Louie. I'm like, I never watched much Ducktales, but I know that's no. Uh, I think no, no. He's uh, he's the uncle of Donald Duck. Donald is a uh, he's uncle. He, he's Donald's uncle. Okay, yeah. all right, yeah. I don't know, but I, did you watch DuckTales? I never really watched much DuckTales. I only watched a little bit yeah. from time to time. All right, well, that's going to be interesting. I'm kind of pretty more of a childlike guy into this fight. Oh, yeah. All right, well, that death battle was wicked cool, and I got to say, love the new style of it. It's definitely going to stick. The colors are cool. It's really, really yeah. cool. So well done, Square Attack. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to leave a comment for those who react to in the future, and I will see you guys next time. Later. Later.